welcome back to Toe of the Week. And yes, I did my nails and my toes in the same day. That's why I'm wearing the same outfit and the same hairdo. Just so you know, I don't wear it two days in a row. But anyways, I had to get them both done in the same day. But they turned out so beautiful. Check these toes out. Aren't they stunning? I love them. So sexy, so gorgeous, just as gorgeous as the nails. And I'm so excited for you guys to see Fashion Friday's outfit of the day. Now I got this offline, this outfit, and it just made me think of a certain movie. And I'm just so excited to do this for you guys and do the recreation of the movie. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I'm just excited how you guys are doing all these guessing on what movie it could be. And you will know on Friday because I'll put it in the description. So uh, the title of the video, it'll be in the title of the video. So, but anyways, I hope all of you guys are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and shoot me a thumbs up if you want me to smile all day long and it's free to hit that button and it just makes me so happy anyways I love you guys very much God bless take care and I will see each and every one of you in my very next video now let's start this toe design so you can see how I did it <laughs> Hey everyone, so here's what I chose to go with for this week's toe design. A beautiful matted black and nylon look with red roses. If you'd like to see how I did this one, stay tuned. Hi everyone and welcome back to Toe of the Week. Doing another beautiful design that matches the nails I did on Monday. I did those beautiful fishnet and rose nails. Now we're going to do a toe design to match. I'm super excited about this week since Fashion Friday is a recreation of a movie. And that's why I've got the nails to go with it. So for starters here, as you see, I always kind of make them match, but they're always a little bit different than the nails. The toes, I've done all black on them. These are a sheer. I've done sheer on the big toe, and that's where I'm going to do this design on the big toes. The rest I le you know, just left solid black and I am going to mat those ones, but we're going to leave them just like that then and keep them sexy. So let me show you what I'm using in today's design. For the big toe, I used this first before I did the French and it is called Diamonds 120 by Sally Hansen. And then I used this sheer polish that I made. I put 10 drops into the Sinful Colors. It was just a clear base coat and I added 10 to 15 drops of black polish shook it up and that's what gives you that nylon look and then on the other toes I'm using this one here the kiss gel um it's called express and I just did solid black on those I just thought it would look really good and you'll see at the end that it will turn out very very good and then I'm going to or I did dry them all up with the sesh feet dry fast so I can get going on the design and then I'm using my stamping plate again today, like I did with the nails. So on the big toe, I'm going to be working with this here. I got it offline, came with a bunch of different stamping plates. And I'm going to be using this one right here. That is the image that I'm gonna be using. I need to clean it, sorry about that. That's just gonna go just on the black part. So I'm just gonna use half that image. I'm just gonna kinda of go halfway across it. And then I'm going to be putting in, like I did on the other one, on my fingers here, these roses here, where it'll be red with the black stem, and that'll go on the big toe. And I'll do it kind of up in the clear, too. I'm going to put two of them on there. So i got to clean those plates off. But other than that, the rest then will be matted after I use the high shine top coat. I'll use the OPI um, matte top coat. And then over the flowers, like I did here, I'll put a dot of the clear just to bring out the flower, the rose. So I'm going to get one of them done, and then I will return. All right, so I've got one done. As you see there with that fishnet look, got that done. So now we're going to work on this one. Got the plate all cleaned and ready to go. So I'm just going to get set up here. I am using the Born Pretty Scraper and the Born Pretty Stamper, the thicker one. I'm 
going to wipe off this plate here with a lint roller. That works really great. All right. So let's get the paint on there. And you only have to go halfway, which is cool. Just like a portion of it, I mean, at the bottom. Because we just need it to be going across that little bit of French that we did in the black. Scrape. And then pick up your design. That's a great pickup. Actually, no, it's not. I didn't notice that. So we're going to take this off and we're going to redo this. So sorry about that. So clean that off and then let's get the black again. Put a little bit more in there. I don't think I put enough. Okay. And then we're going to scrape it. I'm going to do one more because I think that's what's happening. It's not getting, it's getting too much on it. All right. Nope, that's still not good. I need it to be a little bit neater. So I think the plate has to dry just a little bit. Let me draw in here a little bit too so you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right. Let's try this again. Third time's a charm, right? All right, just go part way across the bottom there. A little bit more. Okay. I'm not gonna close that up. I keep closing it up. Okay. Scrape. There we go. That was a better scrape. And then pick it up there. There. That's much better. Then we're gonna use the smaller one here to pick up what we don't need. So I'm gonna go like this and pick up the words there. This little spot there. And the rest is fine. Okay, I'll just move this over here. And I'm gonna show you how I do this. We're just gonna go on right here. Hopefully you can see through this as I do this. And I'm gonna pull forward with this so that I don't get it on the clear part. Then you're just gonna set it down and roll it across, giving it some pressure. I love these ones because they're really jelly-like. And see, there we go. Now. This is a perfect opportunity to show you how you clean this. Let me grab a Q-tip. Because I had the sesh feet on there, I can just take a little bit of acetone on a Q-tip and I can fix it. I didn't even notice that there was black up on that. But if this ever happens, it's pretty easy to clean it up because we have that done. First off up here, I'll just go across and clean that off the top real quick. Okay, and then on the toe, just really quick, watch this, because I have the sesh feet on, look at that. Cleaned it right off, so we are fine. Didn't ruin the design, don't have to start over, thank God. So, that's that, that's that plate. Now we will be going to the roses, so I'm gonna get one of the toes done, and I will return. Oh, got a little spot on that one too. Let's get that cleaned up really quick. Didn't even notice that. Boom. Done. All right. Let's get a couple roses done and I will return. Okay. Now I've got those two beautiful roses. Isn't that cute? The way I did it. I didn't do it that way over the nails. I did that over the French part. But since the French part and this was so much shorter, I wanted to put the roses through even the clear part. So I did one up, one down. Let me show you. All right. Back to the plate. We're using a different plate though. This one here has got the rose. Let me draw it in for you. So the rose image is right there. Get the toe in there. And we'll get our little things here. And we're just going to put the red right on the top part. And I don't know if I showed you the red. This is the red I'm using. And it's called uh, Fate and Fronts. <laughs> and then we're going to do our black here. Right where the stem is. And then we're gonna scrape it. We'll go one more scrape just so we know it's good. Then we're gonna pick it up with our jelly stamper. Perfect pickup, but we are gonna clean up that little bit there so it doesn't get on our toe. All right, and then we'll go ahead and stick this down. We're gonna do this one now going up 
and the other one going down. So as I go to do it, then you'll see it as it goes through. Just stamp it there. Okay, and now we're gonna do one more. So let's clean this off. Get ready for one more rose here. So get the red again. Dab it on just where the red part goes. I love stamping. I love freehand everything. That's my thing is freehanding, but in a quick hurry, stamping is sure amazing and obviously leaves the art perfect. <laughs> As if it was a sticker. That's the only thing. I don't like my art to look like a sticker. I like it to be hand painted, but sometimes when you're in a hurry, it's absolutely wonderful. Okay, we'll scrape it one more time. Hopefully you can see that. We're gonna pick it up here. Another great pickup. We're gonna use the other one just to get out that excess again. Don't want nothing around there to ruin the image. And now I'm gonna turn it around because I want this one to go upside down. And as I stick it down, you'll get to see it then. You'll see it through the stamper. There we go. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love this. So romantic sexy and elegant i love it so now what we're gonna do let me move this out of the way here get all my stuff out of the way okay i don't know where that cotton ball went oh right down there okay and then let's draw back out here i think i'm going the wrong way <laughs> okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it dry a little bit. Always remember to let your images dry. They dry fast, but be very careful when you're top coating them. And I forgot to mention in my nail video, I probably mentioned it before, but I always have newcomers. I'm gonna go over the top with the sesh feet, dry fast, just over these. I already did the baby toes, but I'm gonna go over. But you wanna go over with a thicker and lighter touch so that it doesn't ruin your design because it can smudge it. So you kinda wanna float over the top of it. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna go ahead and top coat. And I'll show you what I mean by float. It's right in for you. I'm gonna get a good amount of the sesh feet. It's nice and thick. I'm gonna let that drip down. And then hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. You're gonna float, lift your, leave your brush up in the air when you're floating. I hope you can see this. And just float your design very lightly across because otherwise you will smudge certain designs. So just be careful but just float across. And then we're gonna go across the top just to seal it all in. And then I will just take my finger here and clean up some of that. Don't worry about the excess because we can always get rid of that. But you wanna float your design like that. All right, I am going to do the other one and then I'm going to matte top coat this whole design. I will return to show all of you the end product. Okay, real quick before I show you the end product, I just wanted to show you everything matted and how I go over just to give it that little bit of a do look. This toe here is not black paint. I cut myself here. It's just a blood blister. So it's not black paint. Otherwise, I would have cleaned that off. But just right through the design, isn't this pretty when it's matted? Look at the black toes now. They look so much better when they're matted. Well, not so much better, but just awesome with this design. I'm gonna get a little bit of the sesh feet and just drop a little bit on one rose and a little bit on the other rows, just so that they'll kind of stand out because the design is shiny. So it looks cool when you do that. I'm gonna draw in and show you the next one. So you see it's matte finished, so I'm gonna grab some of this and we're just gonna drop it on both the roses like that, just a drop, so it looks like a dew and then that stays shiny and the rest will stay matted. Isn't that beautiful? So now we'll draw out here, all right. Now we're gonna let these dry up. I will return to show all of you the end product. Alrighty, everybody, I am all done. And aren't these sexy and hot? I love the matte look to this. And I love the way the roses are. I love them laying on the French and the clear part of it. I just think that is so beautiful. I think they turned out wonderful. And they look wonderful. Sorry, I had to get the glove off here. Look wonderful with the nails. Isn't that gorgeous? They match so beautifully. I love it so much. And I cannot wait, like I said, for the outfit of the day that's going to follow with this. 
and it is recreating a movie. So, but anyways, I hope all of you enjoyed the nail and the toe design for this week. If you liked it, definitely give it a try. Other than that, everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Thank you.